Good morning. How are you doing today? Every new day is a new possibility. Every single moment of the day bears new possibilities. We have always a choice. A choice to simply choose love and peace for ourselves over suffering, over stress. And no matter what the situation outside is and no matter how hard the person we are dealing with, there is always the possibility and we have always the power to choose love for us and for everybody around us. There is a space within me and I know that it also within you and within everybody else and because no matter how in the form we are different we can be smarter and more or less skillful but um, within us we are all the same and if this space is within me it's within everybody and This space is a space of sweetness, total sweetness. It's God, it's love. There is always peace in there. There can be no problem in there because nobody can enter this space but you. It's just like your sacred refuge and no, it's just joy, pure joy that nobody can take away from you. And today I want to show you a little meditation that um, can help you focus your loving attention inside this sacred space, inside, inside this love that you are, especially when challenging situations outside are messing up this space. So we always meet throughout the day different people that consciously or unconsciously triggers us and mess up with us and I want you to remember that every moment you have the power of choice you can either respond compulsively and empower your ego mind and enter into the struggle who is right and who is wrong uh, reacting to your emotions or you can empower your awareness and your heart. You can send your loving focus inside of you and just make the firm choice not to allow anybody to make you sad, to make you feel fearful, guilty, stressed. It is just your power, it is our power every time a boss or a co-worker is trying to stress us consciously or unconsciously an unaware parent is extracting from us it is straining us or a good friend is just triggering us and doesn't meet our expectation with their behaviors so that no matter what we can just choose to become sad, give up to our negative emotions, or we can choose to go inside this inner space of peace and of joy, no matter what. In the end, to allow other people to decide about the way we feel, it is the worst form of slavery. We have this power to keep our inner space just sacred. If everybody can mess up with us, it means that we make our happiness depending on everybody. And this is, I don't think this is what we want because then we are really like a vessel in the wind. The meditation is very simple and um, I always, it always helped me because I'm very sensitive and empathic. I can feel energies of people to the point that sometimes I don't know where my energy ends and another person's energy begins. So for me, it was very important to learn to focus.
focus my awareness and my intention inside of this love, inside of this peace, where I can find always beauty. And um, no matter which situation is outside there, here there is only love. And I know that if I focus on love, this is love I attract into my life. And if I focus on the ego mind or negative emotions, I know that I attract those in my life. And that's why with this little meditation, I'm showing you how to focus your loving attention and your awareness into love really consciously. Every time somebody triggers you, simply relax your shoulder, you breathe deeply, you get back inside of you, inside this space where there is only, only sweetness, love, joy. It's like a nectar. And um, is always there for us. It is us. So if you learn to train your awareness and your attention, every time you catch yourself in the mind and giving to negative emotions, if you just catch this moment with your awareness and try really to bring yourself into this inner space, the compassion, the love, the joy that is who you are. You can make this choice every moment. My mind or my heart, my peace or struggle, shame, guilt, stress, fear or peace, love, ease, power. So where we put our attention is very important. And um, the second step of the meditation could be once you are in this space that you just open yourself to meet yourself. You can simply watch. Like if you were sitting on a throne and looking at your life situation with a certain distance. You are like outside your life situation and you just look at this situation you look at your emotions and your thoughts with a bit of distance. You acknowledge what you're feeling, your emotions, all of them. You acknowledge your anger, your frustration, your rage. And you just, without judgment, you just let them be there and um, you send them love. You can heal them. You can also have a, a little talk with them, like to a best friend, where you can ask um, why are they there, what they want to tell you, where they come from, and what you can do for them to release them and to transform them. And um, you just uh, release them with love, through love, you send them love, you send love to your mind, to your shadow side, and uh, you just acknowledge that um, this anger, these fears, this shadow side that is within us, you maybe discover it's within everybody else, maybe in different quantity, in different it shows up in different ways, but we may recognize that our rage, our hate, our fear is the rage and the fear of all humanity. And everybody like us is just trying to become happy their way. So once you love also your negative emotions and you let them be there, you send them love then you're also able to meet the emotions of other people with the same compassion. Once you become compassion about yourself and about human nature and how we all are, and that's only about where do we focus our attention on, 
love or trouble <laughs> and um, yeah once you start just to love everything of you you love yourself you love your mind you love your fears once you start meeting yourself with love inside this space then everything turns into love you see with different eyes everybody you meet every situation just with more compassion with more distance and it doesn't mean that you will not have toxic people that stresses you and a fearful parent that um, put you in anxiety and this will happen but these things will not overwhelm you because through this inner space you have found the right distance to look at things and people and yourself from different perspectives and understand that uh, all these people are you, that you are in all of these people, that we are all connected if we like it or not. And um, we understand simply that behind the mental filter that we have and through which we look at reality through our form, there is also there is also heart and love. There are the highs of the heart, our inner space, that it is who we are truly are. And uh, it's who you are really. It is a nectar and it is also in everybody else. And um, once you know these, you want to choose a reality of love. Once you know, and I just repeat it, when you focus your awareness on love, your reality becomes loving. When you put your attention and your awareness on stressful situation and you go into it, them and you give them attention and power over you, then you are just feeding into negatives and then you are creating all these negatives into your reality. So now, once you know these, what would you like to choose for you? You want to choose love or you want to choose unhappiness? And I think the choice is very simple. And as you train yourself always to feed the love inside of you, to feed, to love yourself and to look at things from your love, from who you are, love and your loving space, then... Um, you will sit in the lap of grace. You will see that your life will change completely because it's like grace and love are only surrounding you in everything, even the ugliest thing you can see, just beauty. So until that time, uh, just uh, do like me, just do it again and again, even in the hardest, more ch with the most challenging person. And, uh, and see how a miracle happens in your life and within you. So now go out into the day, be you, and have a day with and as love. I am with you.